Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a hot topic in the Linux world, KDE versus GNOME. If you're new to Linux or just can't decide which desktop environment to use, stick around and we'll help you make an informed decision. So, um, let's get started. All right, first things first. What exactly is a desktop environment? Well, it's basically the graphical interface you interact with on your Linux system. Think of it as your digital workspace where you click on icons, open windows, and navigate through menus, just like you would on Windows or Mac OS. Now, in the Linux world, two of the most popular desktop environments are KDE and GNOME. Both have been around for a while and have evolved significantly. So let's break down the key differences between the two. Design-wise, GNOME stands for GNU Network Object Model Environment. It features a clean, minimalistic interface with a touch of Mac-like aesthetics. It's great if you're new to Linux and want a simple, clutter-free experience. On the other hand, KDE, which is short for K-Desktop Environment, offers a more traditional desktop layout. It's packed with features and highly customizable, which might appeal to users who like to tweak their setup. When it comes to user interface and navigation, GNOME has a unique approach. It focuses on productivity with a minimalistic design, but it might take some getting used to if you're coming from Windows. KDE, however, offers straightforward navigation with a traditional layout that's easy to adapt to, especially for Windows users. Customization is a huge part of the Linux experience. Genome has a vast collection of themes and extensions, but you'll need to install tools like Genome Tweaks to make adjustments. KDE, on the other hand, is a customization powerhouse. It comes with built-in tools to tweak almost every aspect of your desktop, making it ideal for users who want full control. With Genome, you can use the Genome Tweak tool to make basic adjustments like fonts and cursors or explore hundreds of extensions from the official website to tailor your desktop. KDE provides a wide range of tools, themes, and settings to tweak every aspect of your desktop. You can personalize your fonts, themes, window decorations, and the application menu with ease. Both Genome and KDE are known for their stability. Gnome has a well-established code base with contributions from big names like Canonical and Red Hat. KDE also prioritizes stability with regular updates and bug fixes, supported by a large community and commercial players like Valve. When it comes to extensions, Gnome has a thriving ecosystem. You can add new features and customize the look and feel of your desktop with ease. KDE also has a rich collection of add-ons and widgets, all accessible through the KDE Store or the built-in Discover Software Center. Genome extensions let you add indicators, change the look of your genome shell, and more. Popular extensions like Dash to Dock offer a customizable dock for launching and managing your favorite apps. KDE takes a different approach. It features the KDE Store, which enables you to download and install desktop widgets, plasma add-ons, and KBWin themes. Most of the tweaks and settings in KDE are built in, so you rarely need additional add-ons. Performance-wise, Genome tends to use a bit more memory but it still offers a smooth experience. KDE, however, is known for its efficiency. It's lighter on resources and can run numerous applications simultaneously without any issues. This makes KDE a great choice if you need a responsive and fast desktop environment. So if you're looking for a lightweight option, KDE might be the better choice. Accessibility is another important factor. Genome excels here with a comprehensive range of features, including screen readers and magnification tools. KDE has some accessibility options too, but Genome offers a more extensive set of tools for users with special needs. Genome includes features like screen readers, visual alerts, and screen keyboards, making it a standout choice for users with diverse accessibility needs. KDE, while having some accessibility features, doesn't quite match up to Genome's offerings. Lastly, both Genome and KDE have strong long-term adoption plans. Genome focuses on autonomy, openness, and embracing new technology. KDE, with its continuous development cycle, prioritizes stability and features, making both desktop environments reliable choices for the future. So, what's the verdict? It really comes down to your personal preferences and needs. If you prefer a traditional, highly customizable desktop, KDE is your best bet. If you want a clean, modern, and productivity-focused environment, go with Genome. Both have their strengths and are part of what makes Linux so diverse and user-centric. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux content. Let us know in the comments which desktop environment you prefer and why. Until next time, happy computing!